What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Ice Cream Soldiers TCG. My name is Ashley, aka Battle Pecan, and I am here for another Pokemon opening. And we are going to be doing a Hoopa V Box versus a Dragonite V Box. And I'm sure that you guys are like, oh, I've seen those a million times. But we opened these back when they released back in, I don't know, early 2020, and they were complete garbage. So I was curious if they're still complete garbage. So I decided to spend our hard-earned money on these boxes and compare them and see if they still suck. So we are super excited that you're here to um, join in the trash or treasure, I guess is a good way to put it. And we're going to see if these boxes have anything good in them. So, so here we go. All right, so we are going to start off with this Poopa V box, and because mainly because I like Dragonite a little bit better than I like Hoopa, I really love Dratini and Dragonair, and I really wish they would have done a better job with the evolution. Somebody out there in internet land is going to be mad at me for saying that because people love Dragonite, and I love Dragonite. However, Dragonite just doesn't match. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like... How does it go from blue to orange? So, to me, Dragonite is just like, hey, let's make a knockoff Charizard. Here's Hoopa V. And then you get your Jumbo card. And I'm sure everyone out there in the internet land will be mad at that comment, but I am not the biggest Charizard fan. Um, and I feel like Charizard's a little overrated, a little overused. And Pokemon could really show some love to some other Pokemon. Here is your Hoopa V box card. Um, and we got two Fusion Strike, a cute little Umbreon Evolving Skies, and a Chilling Rain. So, now I'm still going to start with Fusion Strike because Fusion Strike is still my least favorite. One of these days, Fusion Strike is going to give me like this giant pool and make me regret saying I don't like it. But, I doubt that's today. <laughs> All right, we're going to start off with a Hariyama, a Breloom, a Cross Switcher, a Plusle, a Moon, 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 I don't know how to say that. Meow, <laughs> Meryl, Hilliola Style, Impidim, and a Cinderace V, also an overrated Pokemon. I'm not a big fire Pokemon fan. Um, I generally like the water Pokemon. They're much cuter. Much, much cuter, really. And they destroy cards like this. <laughs> but it's okay. Here is more Fusion Strike for you guys. And let's see. Luxio, Mandibuzz. Ninetales, Pancham, Galarian Darumaka, Ndidi, Growlithe, Phalanx, Reverse Latius, and a Hollow with th Thunderous, Landorus. I can't, can't read today either. It's all right. I'm generally pretty decent at pronouncing Pokemon, but that last one for some reason just couldn't get it out. All right, Chilling Rain. Or Chilling Pain, whichever one you want to call it. I would love to box open, box open, open a booster box of Chilling Rain, but I'm also terrified to open a box of Chilling Rain because it's literally like hit or miss, you never know, fire resistance, gloves, carbominal, a spiral energy, a Lapras with Melanie in the background, Blitzel, Aeron, Deerling, Delibird, Malamar. Chili Green just has really pretty alternate arts. And that Gold Snorlax also is a beautiful card. And a Blaziken V Max Rainbow. I should be very excited about this because this is a secret rare. But Blaziken is probably my least favorite Pokemon of literally all time. It's just a fire chicken. And I really don't like it. 
And I know that the internet probably loves it, and everyone loves it, and people will love this card, but I do not. But this is a really awesome box, on the other hand. It, it, it's a lot of fire ugly Pokemon, but I guess they're hits. We could pull a fire Pokemon out of here, like, I don't know, a full art Flareon? I don't know. I'd like that fire Pokemon. All right, let's see here. We have Electric Energy, Avalog, Switching Cups, Tentacruel, Scraggy, Mareep, Cryogonal, Letleo, Cutie Fly, Reverse Drampa, and an Ampharos. All right, so that first box was actually really good. It's better than the first time I opened these. We did get a secret rare. It is a Blaziken, but it is a secret rare. So then we got the Reverse Latius, which is a really pretty card also. The Hollow Landorus, and then Cinderace. <laughs> All right, let's move into the Drampa box. And Drampa. <laughs> Dragonite, the Dragonite box. We just opened that, <laughs> that Drampa, and it really threw me off. <laughs> Y'all are going to watch these videos and really think I can't um, speak or read, but I can most of the time. It's actually really late when we're recording this, and um, yeah. All right, Dragonite V. <laughs> this one already gets like a little bit of a leg up because it does have a better V card. I like Dragonite. I just like Dragonite as its own Pokemon and not as the evolution Pokemon to Dragonair and Dratini. That's all. So, and I also remember when these boxes first came out, they had two Evolving Skies in it, and now they've reprinted them where they only have one Evolving Skies, and that's really not cool. All right, there's that Dragonite V-Box, and we are, again, going to start with Fusion Strike. I have a feeling that the Hoopa box is going to win, though. It's just an itch. Because, I mean, three pulls out of four packs is pretty good, even though one was a hollow. And unless this one has an alt art in it, I just don't think it can win. Trakana, Elsa, Beware, Sheldrick, Caterpie, Drillbur, Shinx, Baneary, I'm just trying to see what little, it looks like, oh, there's like a Lopini in the background on there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's pretty cool. I never noticed that before. Reverse Hollow Charge Above and a rare Araquanid. I love Araquanid too. It's also an awesome Pokemon. I know it's technically a bug in water if you play the game or it's grass in the card game, but um, another really awesome other Pokemon I like. I'm just going to tell you guys all the Pokemon I like. All right, Fusion Strike again. All right, Grass, Persian, Cook, Mac Cargo, Voltorb, Pansage, a Cupent, a Gligar, a Slugma, Reverse Hollow Galarian Corsola, which is also a really pretty card. I like the how the I like how Corsola kind of matches the purple, like the second color matches really well. A Golem. I will say, Pokemon has definitely upped some of its art in the last couple sets. Not that anything can really beat, like, base set art or Sky Ridge art, vintage art, a lot of that hand-drawn, really pretty art. Um, but they are starting to get a lot better, especially with these alt arts and um, entering your gallery cards. All right, we have a Path to the Peak. Galarian Farfetch'd, a Cast Form, Larvesta, Sobble, very playable Sobble, Ladybug, Quillfish, and an Ampharos. So we pulled an Ampharos twice out of two different sets now. And Evolving Skies. So this box so far is pretty trash, again. <laughs> um, unless this Evolving Skies pack can somehow redeem it. Um, but, um, yeah. 
It's not looking too good for Dragonite. All right. We got mm, two, three, four. All right. We have four energy. <laughs> well, this is an error pack. Phoebus, Hippopotas, Lilaba, Naked, Birdmite, Reverse Apple, and a Pinsir. Pinsir. So, so we did get our rare, but 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 we got four energy cards. Four. But there's four. Um, the box was definitely sealed. I mean, it was pretty glued very well together. So I, and we got our rare, and I, all of them are from Evolving Skies. Um, so I, I'm not sure. I think we just got an error pack, which happens, and nobody can see those. <laughs> Here we go. That's very strange. Um, it doesn't let Dragonite win because <laughs> that's four energy cards that nobody wants. <laughs> so that's a little strange but now we can put that it's an error box <laughs> but anyway so we pulled absolutely nothing from the dragonite box so i would say that the dragonite box was definitely trash but we did get a little bit of treasure if you if you're into these fire pokemon from the hoopa box so there we are and don't worry we'll sleeve everything up in just a few minutes when we hit end but thank you guys for joining us and Please be sure to like, subscribe, turn your notifications on so you can join us for more TCG content where we'll have more Pokemon, um, some Digimon, and lots more fun. So join us next time.